Now we'll move on to the nose, which to me is like the main event. It's the most important aspect of tasting. And why is that? Well, according to scientists, smell accounts for over 85% of the sense of taste. Smelling over 100,000, or depending on whose report you read, up to a trillion. There were some scientists at Columbia University, or maybe it was NYU a couple of years ago, that published uh, uh, their study where, the, according to them, uh, the human being could smell over a trillion things. Which to, and then, of course, other scientists shot holes in their findings, and I think it's hilarious. It's, it's scientists and mathematics run amok. Anyway, uh, so we can, let's just suffice to say that we can smell a lot of things. And that's versus only being able to taste seven things, as in sweet, sour, bitter, salty, umami, which everybody knows is glutamic acid, and kokumi, another Japanese term, which is calcium, dairy, and then, of course, fat. Okay. And in this sense, you know, uh, when we swirl a glass to smell the wine, why? And other than the fact that we look cool doing it, we're volatizing esters, all the aromatic compounds, which are attached to alcohol molecules, and when you swirl the glass, of course, alcohol will immediately start to evap evaporate and the esters will rise up in the glass and we can smell better. In terms of smelling techniques, and it's unfortunate we don't have more time to talk about this, this in itself is a mini seminar, but the angle of the glass in terms of what you're doing is doing, and somewhere between 25 and 35 degrees, obviously not going too far. And it's different with, from each glass, but also be aware that when you do that, that your torso, head, and eyes go down. And that's brain function. It's also body function in terms of smelling. Uh, the next point on there is several short sniffs versus one long hooter. I think you should avoid that. It doesn't work. And everyone around you will want to, want to know what you do in your spare time. And uh, several short gentle sniffs seems to work for just about every, everyone. And the next point on there is, is probably uniquely mine, and that's active versus passive inhalation. Most of the human race, you know, plants the glass on their upper lip and they just go for it. And that's passive inhalation, is smelling with your nose. For me, that never worked. And active inhalation is basically what I do, and I'm sitting to the side, and that's I pull the glass about an inch away, open my mouth, and breathe in through my mouth and nose uh, at the same time. And for me, it's a uh, it's huge, huge difference. If I smell with my nose alone, it's, it's overwhelming. It's too, I can't, just can't deal with it. And finally, last point on here, retronasal, and uh, some people use it very successfully to explain it's where you take a sip and you spit the wine out or you swallow it. After that, then you're exhaling through your nose. And I will tell you, for me, it's like trying to throw a baseball with my off hand. It just doesn't work at all. It may work for you. So the first thing we have to talk about in terms of the nose of the wine is the fault factor here. TCA corkiness is really the one that you need to understand. And again, just the plug that in November, we have uh, November 9th, I believe, uh, we're doing a, a, a webinar on wine faults. So we're going to go into all these in great detail. So it would be great if you can join us. In the meantime, we'll just go through these. TCA of is what happens, of course, when mold and chlorine get together. And uh, usually from tainted corks, but I have to tell you, uh, earlier this month, I was at Evan Goldstein's Latin American uh, Spirits and Wine uh, seminar here in San Francisco. Fantastic time. And at dinner one night, uh, Wines of Brazil, we had a, a Moscato Giallo uh, from a screw cap bottle that was really, really corked. And it wasn't just one bottle, it was the whole batch. So it can happen. All right. Uh, important, you should know what TCA smells like. Of course, human threshold is six parts per trillion, which is six seconds and 64 years. All of that is to say that's why we have screw caps and vino locks, glass on glass, and uh, plastic corks. Uh, 